What's up, gang? It's Ask Andy Anything here, and today we are looking at the top 10 strangest things you don't know about Matthew Gray Goobler. Matthew Gray Goobler, MGG, the Goobler, Goobs, no matter what name you call him by, the fact is, he is one of the strangest guys out there, and by far one of the most fascinating. In fact, the more I learned about him, the more I wanted to know. So in this video, I will be taking a deeper dive into what makes our boy tick than you have ever seen before you will be surprised. Before we get into this video though, be sure to drop a like and a sub is always welcome. And if you want to be the first to see the most unique videos on the internet, hit that notification bell. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 10. John Waters is his idol. And this is what he said about Waters while answering viewers questions during his online book signing for his best-selling children's book, question mark, Rumple Buttercup, a story of bananas belonging and being yourself. Movie, John Waters playing me. I'd also like to play John Waters. Who the heck is John Waters, you are probably asking, as why should any teenage girl know about this random boomer that is so close to the goob's heart? Here's the cliff notes. John Waters is an American filmmaker, writer, actor, and artist, and was early on known for his transgressive cult films, like 1972's Pink Flamingos, shown here starring his boyhood friend and muse, Glenn Milstead, who Waters later gave him the name of Divine, and the tagline of the most beautiful woman in the world, almost. Divine would go on to be the inspiration to drag queens in music, movies, and TV, like RuPaul, who you would know from the Drag Race TV show. And here is a 2014 clip of Waters, titled RuPaul Drives, John Waters. Divine died in 1988, the same year as Waters released his crossover film hit, Hairspray, which took him from a local favorite in Baltimore, where he was born and raised, to an international sensation. Divine played the mother to Ricky Lake in the original Hairspray film, and his role was reprised in the 2007 Broadway-adapted musical version by John Travolta. And if you don't know who he is, ask your parents, and they will tell you about a little film from 1977 called Saturday Night Fever, which made him one of the most famous people on the planet for the next decade or so. Here is a side-by-side -side shot of Travolta dancing in Saturday Night Fever and in Hairspray. What a difference 30 years can make. So besides just being an all-around random dude, I'm sure Goobler was attracted to Waters, who has similar diverse talents. What I think is funny, and I'm lucky enough that there's enough people in the world that have the same warped sense of humor I have to make me make a living. Here's Waters in the 2014 film Suburban Gothic, where he and MGG come face to face, which obviously left an indelible mark on Goobler. What about him? What about me? Number nine. Goobler also mentioned during his Rumple Buttercup book signing that his biggest fear is the abominable snowman. You kids may know who that is if you've ever been to Disneyland and ridden on the Matterhorn roller coaster. Even when I was a little kid and passed by the Abominable Snowman, or Yeti, on that ride, I barely noticed. So why is a 40-year-old man like Goobler afraid of this furry little fictional character? I guess that just makes him all the more charming to his fans. And speaking of Disneyland, poor MGG would never make it as one of those theme park fur characters, as he complained during his online book signing about how hot and sweaty the Rumple Buttercup costume was for him. And don't forget, he was in an air-conditioned conference room in an upscale high-rise while not even wearing the hottest part of the costume, the head. It just seems to me that the goobs would rather just morph himself into an animated character. I mean, he voices a bunch of them, including the Chipmunk movies where he plays Simon Seville. What do you folks think about that? Comment below what character you would like to see him as, and keep it G-rated, please. Number eight. He is obsessed with Edgar Allan Poe, who was a poet, editor, literary critic, and quite possibly the creepiest gothic American writer of all time. He was particularly known for his tales of mystery in the macabre, which seemed to have had a great effect on MGG, with his most famous work being The Raven. Poe was born in 1809 and quickly became an orphan, raised by his uncle in Baltimore, and is considered to be the most famous person ever to live there. And ironically, the second most famous person is John Waters. Hmm? Coincidence? Only the Goobler knows for sure. Either way, his written works, such as The Telltale Heart, have been read by Goobler and used as bedtime stories for many a teenage girl. True. Nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I had been and am. Here's a fun fact. He married his 13-year-old cousin, Virginia Eliza Clem, when he was 25. They had less than 12 years together before she died of tuberculosis. Poe was inconsolable and turned to alcohol to numb his pain. It is believed that his poem, Annabelle Lee, which is also read by Googler, was inspired by his wife's suffering and death. He is buried in an unmarked grave, and it wasn't till many years later 
that community members got together and purchased a new location and headstone for him. And I'm sure had they not done that, that Matthew Gray Goobler would have. He's just that kind of a guy. Number seven. He is from Las Vegas, where his family has been for generations, going back to when there was only 10,000 people living there. And if you have ever been to Vegas, you know it just ain't normal and is one of the weirdest places on the planet. Not just above the street, but under it as well. And this guy is an actual cowboy who knows how to ride a horse. And myself, having grown up in Tucson, Arizona, I give him a lot of respect for that. Number six. This is not a strange fact for you, but it was for him when he was recruited walking down the street by a modeling agent in his early 20s. And even stranger for him that he would become ranked as one of the top 50 models in the world at one point. And he is so naturally good looking that if you put anyone's picture in the face app with him, they will become instant model material. I tried it myself using a picture from me at age 17 with a grown up picture of MGG. And check me out, I could have been the star of High School Musical. Move out of the way, Zach. Number five. Most of you Goobalorettes already know that he loves magic which is just strange in general, as usually it is not the best looking guy in the room that would have anything to do with it. Maybe if he had gone that direction professionally, he would be like Chris Angel. I mean, he could wear the hell out of that eyeliner. Am I right, people? But based on his skill with his chicken, it's probably best that he didn't. Number four. The dude is an ordained minister, which he became to marry off his best friend, Paget Brewster. He, did, he officiated our wedding. Oh, wow. Wow. Whom he met on the Criminal Minds set where he played the super genius, Dr. Spencer Reed. Being a minister could come back to haunt him worse than any Edgar Allan Poe tale as MGG obsessed girls could force him at gunpoint to perform his own marriage. Of course I am joking and cannot be held responsible for anyone that takes this idea seriously. But it wouldn't matter anyway. He's a magician, remember? He can make you disappear. Number three. Of course, where would a top 10 strangest facts about Matthew Gray Goobler be without the fact that he lives in a self-proclaimed haunted treehouse? It is actually an old hotel up in the Pasadena Hills, and you know how aged hotels are, full of ghosts, which of course makes Goobler feel right at home. However, if you've ever seen an episode of American Horror Stories, hotel, model type actors sure like to live in dim old places. Just ask Finn Whitrock, Wes Bentley, Cheyenne Jackson, or Matt Bomer. But in terms of talking age appropriate from the show Hotel, you teenage gals might want to check out Lyric Lennon, the now 16-year-old son of the old boy band O-Town heartthrob, Ashley Parker Angel. Either way, spoiler alert, living in an old hotel may not be good for your health. Just ask Jack. Number two. And speaking of American Horror Story, one of their creepiest seasons was called Freak Show. And that is saying a lot. But what does this have to do with the Googler? Well, surprise, surprise. Another one of the things that he revealed during his online book signing is that his favorite TV show of all time is Carnival, which is all about freaks and geeks and outsiders. It seems that MGG feels the most at home among those that are not typical. And hey, I get it, as I'm not your typical 53-year-old either. Number one. I am putting this one at number one because it is my favorite strange fact I found out about Matthew Gray Goobler. He is allergic to dance, or should I say, dancing is not fond of him. And as most of you know, back in 2009, Goobler dislocated his knee while dancing. The injury required three surgical procedures and the use of a cane for nearly a year. So in season five in the Criminal Minds universe, Dr. Spencer Reed walks with a limp and a cane. And throughout the season, he variously employs crutches, a cane, and a general limp. And here is one of the most funny quotes I've ever heard from a doctor. Basically, MGG got a little too overzealous on the dance floor and managed to pretty much do something that most knee surgeons have never ever thought possible or seen in their lives. Well guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please drop a like, and a sub is always appreciated. Also, if you want to be the first to see the most unique videos on the internet, hit the notification bell. And as always, we have a challenge question for you guys. And if I like it, I will pin your comment. What is the strangest MGG fact that you know? Comment your answers down below. Well, anyway, I will see you guys next video. And in the meantime, keep it freaky, MGG style.